Geologists warn that the eruption could last for decades or even centuries. Iceland, a volcanically prone area that stretches across the Reykjanes Peninsula, about 30 miles southwest of Reykjavik, has been experiencing a surge in volcanic activity. It's going to last for maybe a decade, maybe decades, Tamsin Mather, a professor of Earth Sciences at the University of Oxford, told Newsweek. Volcanoes don't happen smoothly, they come in pulses of activity and then they quiet down again. One particular concern is the emission of noxious gases, which pose significant health risks to nearby residents. If the wind blows the wrong way, you can get a really bad impact on air quality in Reykjavik, for example, which is the most populous part of Iceland, Mather said. Historical eruptions have even sent noxious gases to the shores of Europe, Mather said, but the scale of this event is far below that threshold for now. The slow-motion drama underscores Iceland's unique geology. Rift-type eruptions, like the one on the Reykjanes Peninsula, produce dramatic lava flows but are relatively low-level explosive. But the potential for underwater eruptions, or magma meets seawater, has raised concerns about short-lived but violent interactions that could release acidic steam and fine ash. One sequence of events that people have anticipated but haven't seen in this eruption is if a fissure spreads through Grindavik and then erupts underwater. Then there's the potential for a much more catastrophic eruption, Mather says. Lessons for the world from the Reykjanes eruption The Reykjanes eruption is not just a challenge for Iceland but a case study for scientists around the world. Researchers are using cutting-edge techniques to monitor magma reservoirs and study how pressure builds and releases. The eruption, while relatively small in scale, is revealing fundamental questions about the inner workings of the Earth. Another question that needs to be answered is why can something sit quietly for hundreds of years and then decide to flare up again? Mather asks. That's a fundamental question about how our Earth works. The Icelandic Met Office has released a map showing the progression of lava flows from the ongoing eruption on the Reykjanes Peninsula. Created using satellite imagery captured at 6.16 a.m. local time on Thursday, the map displays the current lava spread in red, alongside previous lava flows from earlier eruptions in 2023 and 2024 marked in purple. Challenges for Iceland Future For the Icelandic government, the ongoing eruption poses a logistical and existential dilemma. How do you navigate long-term uncertainty, especially if you've ever lived in Grindavik? Pyle asks, we have incredible capacity to measure what's happening on the ground in real time. But these frequent eruptions pose significant challenges, especially in the medium term. With communities, major tourist attractions like the Blue Lagoon, which draws more than 1 million visitors a year and power plants at risk, authorities have begun building barriers and protective levees to direct the lava flow. Whether that infrastructure will survive decades, if not centuries, of eruptions remains to be seen.